In today's episode, we're taking a look at how to properly acclimate your corals. Are you doing it the right way? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how I've been doing it for many years and then take a look at a video from Worldwide Corals that just came out recently. And they talk about how you don't need to drip acclimate your corals. Uh, you can practically just acclimate them to temperature and just put them right into the tank. So when I first got introduced to the hobby, the main way that was being taught on how to acclimate your corals is that they have to adjust to the parameters of your reef aquarium. So you want to do this slowly because you don't want to shock them and you may want to turn your lights down low, things like that for introducing the coral to your aquarium. So that would be taking the bags that the corals came in, putting them in your sump or in your display, floating them for like 15 minutes, uh, getting them adjusted to the temperature, and then emptying those bags into a separate container and then slowly dripping uh, water from your display tank into that container and then at least getting twice the volume of water in your container as you drip that and you want like a few seconds per drip to slowly acclimate them to your tank's parameter. Now the only thing with that is as you're dripping into the container, the temperature in that container is changing. So it's going kind of down and then back up uh, because you're dripping for like 30, 45 minutes. Another possible con to that is whenever you get your corals from a online retailer and they have to fly them overnight to your door, that's a pretty stressful event for some corals and then getting them and then putting them into a container and making them wait even longer to get in your tank and then putting them into a coral dip bath for like another 10 minutes or so is even more stressful on that coral. And then once you get that in your tank, it may not do well. So corals themselves are self acclimating and they can adapt and change to different conditions within the reef aquarium. And there's a lot of guidelines and rules out there about what levels in your tank as far as like alkalinity swings that a coral can handle. You don't want a big swing, but when you're bringing home a coral from your local fish store, or maybe you get one shipped to you overnight, it's coming from a system that already supports corals. So the water chemistry in those tanks should be relatively close to the parameters that are in your home aquarium. Now there are going to be some differences because all tanks are different, but from there, when you're acclimating your coral, you don't necessarily have to spend tons of time doing it. So worldwide corals, which is a very popular name in the reef aquarium hobby, whenever they send you a coral shipment from them, they have a specific way that they acclimate their corals. So they'll send you an acclimation guide, but they basically take the corals out of the bags that they came in, put them in a Tupperware or a separate container, and then add some of your uh, tank water to that container. And then what you want to do is get a turkey baster and kind of blow off the frag plugs, blow off the corals. Uh, you're inspecting the corals at this stage. You're looking for any kind of um, parasite or any kind of bugs or anything that you can see with your eyes, any kind of flatworms, anything that's disturbing the coral, you're trying to inspect and visually get rid of that with the turkey baster. Now, once you're done inspecting the corals, they recommend getting the coral into the tank as quickly as possible. So as soon as you're done, don't even worry about dipping the coral, put it right into your reef tank. Now, some of you guys are like, hold up, what, don't dip my corals? Isn't, aren't we supposed to be dipping the corals to get rid of, uh, eggs that might have been laid on the coral or uh, any kind of parasites or anything that we don't see aren't isn't that a preventative measure and yes that's exactly right in worldwide corals video what they were talking about is when you receive one of their corals so if you're getting a coral from a vendor that you trust then yeah go ahead and especially if it's been shipped overnight it's been through uh, temperature fluctuations it's been through travel uh, the box might be roughed up the coral may not be in the best of shape, so what you want to do is get it in your tank as quick as possible, put it right in your tank. And don't worry if you don't know where to put your coral right when you get it. You can always place it on the sand bed, put it on a printed reef sand stand that I'm always talking highly about printed reef. They make great products for your coral frags that can support them in the sand bed, on the rock, wherever you want to put them before you make your final decision, or maybe you just like the look of keeping them in the in their stands. 
but once you get them in the tank put them low on your sand bed and then worry about the next steps so that's the school of thought about drip acclimating is that it takes too long and that it may just be a big waste of time if you're getting it from a trusted source uh, like in worldwide corals video they talk about specifically the corals that you're receiving from them, you can go ahead and put them in your tank and then wait a few days. And then if you wanna dip them, go ahead and dip them after a couple days. Now you may be worried about pests being introduced into your system. Um, what they said in their video is that, well, the pests are adapting too, and they're adjusting to the parameters too. So you may have a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, I like to dip my corals. I use Revive by Two Little Fishies and I've always dipped my corals. So let me know in the comments below how you've been acclimating your corals in your reef aquarium. Do you drip acclimate them or do you just temperature acclimate them, look at them and then put them in your reef tank? Do you always dip your corals? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to watch another video all about coral placement, I made this video right here just for you. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to the Coral Reef Talk, and I will see you in the next one.